Close enough for the government, man, anyway. <laughs> see me last night or the night before. I hope you don't get fucking bored, but it's all this fucking tune or song anyway. The story. Fucking story. That's what it is. It's a goddamn story. And, uh, I wrote this song, man. I was sitting in the McDonald's one night, man. I was coming home late at night and I was the only motherfucker in there. And uh, These fucking kids were in there, man. And uh, they're, they're supposed to be working, man, but there's trash laying all around and garbage and shit. And these little fuckers were back by the back door smoking reefer, and they weren't paying attention to me, man. And I wanted my fucking Big Mac, man, in a hurry. And they were getting it to me, man. So I got kind of mad, man. I was looking around on the walls, all the posters, McNuggets and McMuffins and McFuckets and whatever they had, man. And I said to myself, well, McMotherfucker. So uh, I said, hey, man, there's a song title right there, Mick Motherfucker. And then I thought that wouldn't look too good on a CD at Walmart, man. So I, uh, I changed it to Mick Mofo, and then I attached American yeah, to it. Mick but what this song really is right now, is, you know, is the, the reason this is Detroit rock and roll, because we got the baddest motherfucking drummer out of Detroit right here, Mr. Johnny B. Bacanji. He's a fucking legend, man. He's on a lot of records, man. You've heard hit records, man. Johnny B! He's on two of my fucking records, too, man. They weren't big hits, but he's on them. <laughs> Johnny! Anyway, man, this shit is some for real. This is the way we do rock and roll in Detroit, man. Just like this. Stop it! 
Wow. Thank you.